Question happened uh, Sunday. Couldn't shout out to my boy Jared. Thank you for um, giving me my iPad and stuff that I left in the car. It was my fault. Jared left my bag in his truck, Jeep. Now I got it by the grace of God. All right. Topic of the message. Oh, traveling, traveling, traveling. Now, now the ninth of Bob is over, and today's Monday. So. What are we expecting very soon? Well, what we're expecting soon, that, you know, this holiday they have in Jewish, uh, Jewish holiday that they have based upon Ninth of Av, it's called the, the Breaking of Acts, something like that, the Breaking of Acts in the 15th of Av. That is a promise, and that, that breaking of Acts of the 15th of all is talking about a promise of God answering, you know, uh, his promises. It's, it's, a, it's a joyful festival. You post a, it's a mystery holiday. It's a mystery holiday that, you know what I'm saying, you won't hear about probably much, but it's a mystery holiday. But one thing about this holiday is about being joyful. It's about rejoicing that, you know, uh, about the, you know, the things of God, you know, you rejoice of what God is going to do concerning the future and the promises that he has have, you know, that's what the holiday is all about. And that is on Friday, you know what I'm saying? On, see, Friday, following the Sabbath day. See, I got everything connected on the Sabbath day. God just does his plan. But that's not really the message right now. But I want to talk to you about the reality of how much, you know, uh, the reality of giving God glory and playing a minimum role, playing a minimum role by giving God the glory. How much we're supposed to play a minimum role? See, the thing is, what y'all don't understand is church system, this divided church system, uh, is trying to make y'all believe concerning the what y'all do in church is that as the building each person's building is supposed to try to save everybody and help everybody you know have a relationship with God I mean it will save whosoever that's in your city or whoever you buy the church there so all these buildings are supposed to save everybody and can help everybody's relationship with God and to grow stronger by, you know, sending them, keeping, by getting them to go to a building on Sunday, you know, the wrong Sabbath. Uh, yeah, they want, they want to convince you that this is the way it has to be done, you know. And they think, you know, like I was in church, they think if they do this event, this event, this big time event, you know, invite, you know, uh, people to come over there to sing or dance or whatever, preach or whatever, you know, and we do this huge event and we gonna I tell people, okay, you'll do a huge event at church and you're gonna, you know, uh, draw people to where? Where are you gonna draw people to when they come to this event and if they enjoy the event and the festivity? Draw them where? You know, you're gonna draw them to your building or your building that you, people that come to the building to perform or preach or whatever they like how you do what you do and he, you want to go to their church or something like that you know it's like this idea that they will emphasize or working hard concerning their I guess gifting that God has given them to draw people in these events that they have in churches buildings remember church buildings to save I guess save people sins I mean save their sins that save their souls from a life of sin that's good that's good and nothing's wrong with that to you know get people in a position of salvation that they save but the thing is is it do, is it from you are you operating from a kingdom perspective or a building perspective you know what I'm saying because in the kingdom of God that I keep telling people that because everybody said oh I'm about the kingdom I'm about the kingdom and I'm like the kingdom of God does not have nothing to do with a building now the kingdom of God uses buildings for certain parent reasons but the emphasis is not the building the emphasis in the kingdom of God is the whole universe <laughs> see I noticed I didn't say earth 
you know? Yeah, or notice I didn't say your country, or, or notice I didn't say your city, notice I didn't say your state, notice I didn't say your, uh, com your, your community, I said the universe. That's what the only place the, un the kingdom of God can fit, you know what I'm saying? But they want y'all to believe that they can fit the works of the kingdom of God into this building and the will of God can be fulfilled, you know? But the thing is, here's the truth about, you know, that I was talking to a friend who was ministering at 14th Street and I was trying to tell him, say, we're supposed to play a minimum role. That, that, that we're supposed to play so much a minimum role concerning as in working together as a body, as a true body, like, you know, like I made an example, it's kind of like this, uh, asking three people to push a car, uh, let's say a car run out of gas, ask three people to push a car to get on the road, you know what I'm saying, those people, three people, they'll push the car and they'll put their effort, but the thing is that, you know, to push it to make sure it gets to a destination and they, you know, it's a long destination, they get tired, but the idea of the kingdom of God you know what I'm saying? Well, I'll tell you, that's the idea of the church system. But the idea of the kingdom of God is when, uh, is it doesn't make sense, but it's when 500 people are pushing this one car. See, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a lot of people. It's what one body, many members. See, one body and many members focus on one thing. See, focus on one car. You know what I'm saying? It's not about. This person, you know, trying to do it right over here. And this person is trying to do it, push the car over there. And this person trying to push the car over here. This person, car. no, it's when all, the, the song says, all of God's people get together, you know what I'm saying? And they push it and bam, it, it's pushed, you know, it's pushed. You know, it's, 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 it's there. It's, it's where it's supposed to be. It, whatever is supposed to have been executed was executed, you know what I'm saying? It's not, you know, a few people over here, a few people over there doing this, few people over here. No, it's when one, when the one church, when the church that got in one in core in the day of Pentecost comes together, when the church based upon, uh, that I told people I'm all about the church by Christ Jesus in, Phil uh, in Ephesians uh, 3, and 21. That's what church I'm all about. I'm not all about these churches. I'm all about the church by Christ Jesus in 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 Ephesians 3 and 21. And when that church that you go to the fourth verse that talks about this unity of the spirit and this unity of the faith that is only one God, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one when everything becomes one and, it, and one is a small number. See, one is an idea of a small number. That one, more likely, I said, when we become one with the one and play a minimum role in becoming one, that I did a message a while back that said that the church is not supposed to, if the church is going to be a body, it's supposed to be, first of all, blood cells. <laughs> See, we're supposed to learn to be blood cells first, not try to be bones, not try to be uh, arteries or line, but first arteries or veins, but we got to first become blood cells. We got to learn how to flow with the pattern of the body first before we talking about being part of the structure of the body. We got to know how the body flows as minimum. See, because, no, you know, you don't think, you know, this blood cell for flowing through your body, you know what I'm saying? You don't thank this blood cell for helping you out because there's billions of blood cells. There's billions and billions of blood cells flowing through your body. See, and, and guess what? Blood cells, they don't get seen, you know? <laughs> yeah, but unfortunately, people want to be about the structure, like the bone, the bone, I mean, the bone and the muscle. People want to be bone and muscle, but they don't want to be the uh, uh, the blood cell because, see, in, in the skin, you can see the muscle, you can see the muscle and you can see the bone, you know, you can feel the bone and see the bone. See, you, the problem is people want to be seen concerning structure that, oh, look at me, I can do this, oh, we're doing this great thing for God, oh, look at us, you know, how those 
big churches and little churches. Big churches and little churches is not biblical. You know what I'm saying? That is not biblical. Hello, I can. That is not biblical. <laughs> they cannot prove to you that there were bigger church and little church. There, it was churches back there, but they didn't have no big church or little church because the church is all one body. Every church was about, you know, unity. See, because they didn't have religion back in the day. <laughs> the church wasn't a religion back in the day, but they religionized church and made it a mess. And that's why it's not performing the way it's supposed to be performing. And the thing is, that's why we in this dilemma right now but anyway they didn't have religion back in the day um the thing is we're supposed to play a minimum role and as much as we play this minimum role that god want us to do as much as heaven can participate in helping us fulfill the, the build the kingdom of god because only heaven really if you really know about the kingdom of god only heaven can establish the kingdom of god you know what i'm saying nah Really us, well, we can by obeying the scriptures and playing the minimum role, but only what's heaven can establish heaven. You know what I'm saying? Not earth, you know, because they're trying to think that they can, with their earthly talent, gifts, and abilities, establish the kingdom of heaven by them performing or preaching or whatever. But no, that's not how it works. No, it's about obey obedience. It will always be about obedience all the way from... Uh, um, Adam and Eve to here to, to the church in Israel it will always be an obedience factor that if things are not working out right it will be an obedience factor why things are getting bad obedience is just the problem but the thing is we need to understand that you know we need to play a minimum role because when I study the scripture I see a minimum role needs to be conducted in order for us to truly be the church, that we become ones, you know what I'm saying, that line up behind the one. I, I, got like, I like what Paul says, uh, 1 Corinthians 11, 1, follow me as I follow Christ. We're supposed to follow Christ. As much as we follow Christ and go behind Christ and go through the straight and narrow gate, see if we walk in a straight and narrow way, we walk a straight, we will end up in the line, and the line is the ideal shape of a one. See, one, it would just be one shape. If we just fall in line with the word of God, you know what I'm saying? Be the one church and follow everybody and fall in line and follow Paul and fall and you follow Paul. I follow Paul. You follow for God because Paul is following Christ according to the scriptures. We can do what we need to do that God will get all the glory and he will get the soul saved and establish the kingdom of God and everything will be all right. But if you think that you're going to play an earthly part in the kingdom of God and doing your gifts and doing your talent and your abilities and your own ministry and, and, and it's going to blow up and get people and get people saved and all everybody else saved and delivered by yourself, uh, you got the wrong ministry. You got the wrong Jesus Christ. You got the wrong Bible. Because this is about playing a small role, not a big role. See, Jesus showed us on the cross of a minimum position that he became less that we can get the best. You got that? We came less that we can get the best. The blood of Jesus Christ to have the relationship with God is the best thing that's supposed to you ever can happen to you is what you need to understand concerning your relationship with God. And doing that, we just play a minimum role to become blood cells, to flow through the body. And then when we learn that heaven will promote us, the Holy Ghost will promote us to give us, to be up to structure. The Holy Ghost will promote us because he will see how humble we are and how we take care and do the things of God and promote humble people that understands about this body of Christ to leadership that we will establish a true body that will be about, you know, the kingdom of God and not be about them being seen and being this great man of God or great woman of God, but being about the kingdom of God to all of us come together and unite and be about the kingdom of God, truly be about the kingdom of God, and God will get all the glory of that. All right, that's the message. I hope you understand. Play a minimal role. It'll be about his glory. Stop playing this major role and get out of God's way. And because that's why I look at it, get out of God's way and let God be God like Jesus did on the cross. He got rid of himself that God can play a great role and things happen. God, Jesus got resurrected, rose from the dead, 
when you play a minimal role that we need to understand to give God glory. All right, that's the message. God be the glory. Him forever and ever. In Jesus' name, amen.